the potential of an indictment, right? So we've talked about what this would mean. And I think it's easy to say we should indict them. We should get payback. I brought this up with Alan Dershowitz. Payback is easy. And I get it. Too often Republicans excuse Democrats' behavior and say, well, they did it. We're going to be bigger than them. I'm not even saying that. What I'm wondering is, what are we going to get out of this? And I'm going to break it all down for you. Um, but it's very interesting just in terms of where we are, because for a while, House Republican leadership was very clear. They weren't ready to go down this path. Then McCarthy started doing these interviews where he said, we're willing to open an inquiry. We're willing to allow this to happen. So I want to walk you through what this all means. So let, let's just start for a second with impeachment, what it is. The Constitution, Article 2, Section 4, says the following. The president, the vice president, and civil officers of the United States shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanor. So that's the bar that we're reaching for. And if you think about it in modern history, right? Nixon didn't get impeached, he resigned. Clinton got impeached by the House, not removed in the Senate. And Trump got impeached twice in the House and went nowhere in the Senate. Last time it was like a big deal because Mitt Romney voted for it, but that was the extent of it. It was a political thing. And as I said, the Democrats have nothing to complain about. They started this. They impeached Trump when he was out of office. I mean, read it. Again, Section 2, Article 4. President President shall be removed from the office on impeachment for and conviction of. You can't remove someone who's not in office. They knew what they were doing. Even if you thought everything that Trump did was fully impeachable and wrong. On its face, the Constitution says that the, the penalty is removing someone from office. If they're not in office, you can't remove them. But the Democrats don't care. They wanted to say that he was impeached twice. That's what they wanted. And they got their talking point. He's now the only president who's been impeached twice. Who cares? He wasn't in office. They couldn't remove him. And we knew that they weren't going to remove him anyway because the, Senate, the votes in the Senate weren't there. You need 60 votes. You weren't going to get it. So we went through an entire exercise for no reason. And the question that remains right now, that House Republicans in particular, because they're the ones who have to start it, is, is this the right time? We know it's not going anywhere. Senate Democrats control the chamber. I, I, I think they, they might have to bring it up in some kind of pro forma way, but let's be honest. They're not gonna do anything with this. So we know he's not gonna be removed from office. Even if you get the vote in the House, you will have impeached him. Okay, some of you probably said, great, so what? Then make him an impeached president because Trump was impeached twice. Clearly, they politicized this. They weaponized it. So let's do it. Well, I want to get into this in a little bit, but there is a political consequence in this, twofold. One, does what House Republicans do actually benefit the other side? Does it help them keep the Senate, keep the White House, and potentially take back the House? That's, that's the worst case scenario. Or two, even if that doesn't happen, do they do something and then it goes down in the House that they can't actually get enough votes, 218. And you're seeing that right now. Some of these, mod and I'm gonna talk about the political consequences, but I want you to understand that this is why some of these things are really easy to say and you get fed a bunch of information that's just not actionable. Kind of like when Nikki Haley said, in the debate the other night that like, you know, there are a couple of these other people different with respect to Viv Vivek Ramaswamy. We said, well, that's not possible. Okay, well, I'm not necessarily trying to make a full equivalency here, but I'm saying we need to understand the reality of what's going on here. <laughs>